Hey guys, AP here. Since I've been gone for ever, I just wanted to make a Q&A video as my returning video to explain to you guys where I've been and why I disappeared and what the plans are for this channel in the future. How's it going? It's been going pretty good for the past year. I mean, despite me not uploading or being active on any social media uh, like Discord or Twitter or at, I don't even use Twitter, but just, you know, not being active like I should be in this certain scenario. Um, like I haven't had that usual YouTuber depression where you don't want to make videos and you have to state that you have depression. Um, I mean, I just lost interest in making videos, but I, hopefully that comes back around and hopefully I can come back stronger than ever. Um, in terms of my channel this year, it's, uh, well, I mean, it's done amazing. I got that subscribe, that like the, the how many subscribers you got in a year. I mean, like it's been basically one of my best years, matching 2019, even better maybe, I don't know. I don't know statistics wise, but anyways, it's been going pretty good. Uh, you know, despite me not uploading anything, the only uploads I have are my uh, stream archives, and those aren't really what I consider uploads. They're not really good content. I wouldn't watch them. But uh, yeah, I mean, 2017 through 2019, I uploaded maybe like 10, 20 videos each year, and then this one I've uploaded like five, and they're all live stream. So yeah, it's not much you can do about it. Will you do another lightweight Java game library tutorial? Ah yes, the lightweight Java game library three tutorials. Um, well, I can definitely say that they are not going to continue, and I have uh, three reasons for that. There's way more, but the three I'm going to list here. Uh, so the first one is a general dis disinterest in 3D games and 3D game development. So while I respect 3D games and while I think they have their merit. I honestly uh, don't see myself making them. I definitely do not enjoy making them. They require so much work to build and to test and to just research. And researching is not my like my main gig. It's not something I'm good at. So uh, I don't see myself making 3D games. And I didn't see it as a career. I just see it as a hobby. And the hobby became too much. The second is that when I started making them back in 2018 and then remade them in 2019 is I like I, there was not really any other tutorials I could find or any other resources I could find there probably was but they weren't as mainstream and I wouldn't even call mine stuff mainstream I mean you have to literally search for lightweight Java game Library 3 tutorial and it comes up but you know I digress so now there's uh i found a book online i'll link it into the description and even then i've already gone past the point of differences because lightweight java game library 2 and lightweight java game library 3 the only difference is how you handle the window and the input instead of using lightweight java game library 2's display keyboard or mouse you can use glfw which is much better for customization and all that really that's the only difference between lightweight java game library 2 and lightweight java game library 3 and so any lightweight java game library 2 tutorial would work after you get past that first hurdle and obviously i can easily do the window and input i mean those are the first three episodes and so that's all you really need and the final reason i'm going to list is that i want to step away from doing c tutorial series because they require a lot of planning and a lot of research and like I said that's not my my forte so I can't really work towards that and if I can't really work towards that then it's not going to make a good tutorial series and there's no point in doing it if it's not going to be good so I think I'm going to step away from doing series at least super long ones like we're already like that was already going to be 15 episodes at least so for the most part uh, Basically any series on my channel is going to be I'm going to try to do more one-off videos So look for those in the future Why did you stop uploading in general? Well, I just found like no motivation to upload like I Didn't have any like reason to of course like I had reasons to like I could continue the lightweight Java game library 3 series I could, you know, finish, like, some other tutorials, even made some cool one-offs, you know, streamed more, 
but like I had no motivation to. And there was little outside factors to um, to either prevent or help me because like my parents didn't care if I did YouTube. Uh, one thing that did affect me is my internet. My internet is not that good, so it does prevent me from streaming as much as I want to because I really do like streaming and also uploading takes a little while, but like not enough for me to not upload. So it is, it's, it's, the, the blame's all on me just not being interested in uploading videos anymore. Are you still programming? Yes, actually, I have been programming the entirety of the time I've been gone. I haven't stopped programming, I've just stopped recording it and editing it and making it a, like a, like a YouTube video. Uh, I still code, like in, in instance, I'm doing the advent of code and there may be a video about that, so yeah. Are you an epic gamer lad? Yes. Well, I would say that's not much of a question, as it is more of a demand, but you know what? Sure, why not? Let's learn some Rust together. It's gonna take a couple hours, but I think this is how it goes. What technique would you recommend for drawing 3D shapes slash generating meshes on the fly from arbitrary parametric and- No! What is going to happen to Hobo Wars? Yeah, Hobo Wars is probably not going to be finished at all. I never really thought that one out either. Uh, I can tell you the original plan for it. So the uh, the base of the game was going to be like WWE Supercard. I think I've said that in the episode 0. But that was supposed to be like the inspiration for the project. The problem with the WWE Supercard now is that there is way too many cards and all the cards, are like all the base stats are already at a million plus. So there's like really no point. I mean, there is a point, but I just liked it better when it was very simple. Like the common cards was less than 100 and like the highest card at most would get to like a little less than 2000 and maybe reach 2000. Like, and those are like the top tier cards, like to where no one can beat you with these. If you have the best cards, like you would either tie or win every single time. And so I wanted to go back to that. Uh, the only problem is that, of course, making a card game is a huge process, and it shouldn't be understated that you have to do a lot of work if you're going to make a card game, especially if you're going to make a 3D card game, because you got to do 3D game development. And like I was trying not to go for a 3D, I was trying to go for like a 2.5 or just straight up 2D, but it wasn't going to work out that way because it's OpenGL. You obviously have to write 3D calls because that's what space you're in. So yeah, I think development is just going to be put on an indefinite hold. Even I wouldn't say cancels because it never even started to begin with. Can you teach me to program HTML? No. 